How to mix your biodiesel. Biodiesel is an organic, non-toxic, and biodegradable fuel made from everyday renewable resources like vegetable oils or animal fats. It can power your car's engine and help the environment at the same time. It doesn't contain any petroleum, so forget about escalating gas prices. Biodiesel cuts down on CO2 emissions. In fact, it's the only alternative fuel to have fully completed the health effects testing requirements of the Clean Air Act. Biodiesel can be purchased at a growing number of fueling stations around the world, but you can also make it in your own backyard. Even if you don't like chemistry, you can brew your own. There are a few important factors to keep in mind when making your own fuel. During all stages of making biodiesel, always work in a well-ventilated area and away from pets and children. Follow these easy steps to find out how you can measure your catalyst correctly, safely mix it into the methanol, and add the mixture to your oil to make your biodiesel. You will need a face shield, rubber gloves, potassium hydroxide, a plastic bowl, a funnel, a large plastic container with valve, methanol, a scale, a biodiesel processor, and water. Step one, safety first. You're working with some chemicals and vapors that could be dangerous if handled incorrectly. It is very important for you to wear the proper safety equipment and work in a well-ventilated area. Make sure to wear rubber gloves and a face shield at all times. The tiny dust particles in the potassium hydroxide could cause irritation and damage if inhaled. The face shield and dust mask will help keep the dust particles and any chemical splash away from your face. Step 2. Measure the catalyst. For each liter of oil you're going to turn into biodiesel, you need 7 grams of potassium hydroxide. In addition to that, you need to add extra grams of potassium hydroxide equal to the number you determined in your titration. To break it down nice and easy, if your oil titrates at 2, you need 7 plus 2 or 9 grams of potassium hydroxide for each liter of oil. Place the plastic bowl on the scale and fill it with the correct amount of potassium hydroxide. Step 3. Mix the methoxide. When you've measured out the amount of potassium hydroxide you'll need for the batch of biodiesel, grab your funnel and place it on the container with a methanol. Make sure the amount of methanol you use is 20% to 22% of the original volume of the batch of oil. Pour in the potassium hydroxide and let it settle. Place the valve cap on the container of methanol. As the potassium hydroxide dissolves into the methanol, the mixture will heat up and boil. Bubbles will appear on the bottom of the plastic container. Hold the plastic container away from you and open the valve to release the vapor pressure. These vapors can be very dangerous if inhaled, so keep the end of the container an arm's length away from your face shield as you release the vapors. You want to release the vapors about every 20 seconds until the potassium hydroxide is completely dissolved. You can tell by looking at the bottom of the container. Once dissolved, you can add this methoxide to the oil in your processor. Step 4. Add methoxide to the heated oil. The oil in your processor should be heated to somewhere between 120 and 130 degrees Fahrenheit before you add the methoxide. The heat cannot rise above 140 degrees Fahrenheit because it will cause the methanol to boil. Slowly add the methoxide into the processor. It should be added relatively slowly, taking about 5 or 10 minutes to add into the oil through an inlet in the pump. Your oil will change from dark to light in color as it leaves the pump. Let the methoxide mix with the oil for about one and a half to two hours. Step five, pre-wash. After the methoxide and oil mixes for a couple hours, turn on the pump and add water to the mixture to complete the pre-wash. You need 5% of the original oil volume and let the water circulate in the tank for about 15 minutes. To keep it simple, if you have 40 gallons of oil, you need about two gallons of water. Turn off the pump and let your mixture sit for several hours or overnight. You may see the very dark glycerin settling out at the bottom of your container. Your biodiesel homebrew is now fully reacted. By choosing to use an alternative fuel, you've helped to cut down on CO2 emissions, cut dependence on foreign oil, and saved yourself some money. Nice work.